Plus one's becoming a game artist. Now we're gonna finish up chapter two in this video by um, finishing this door frame and uh, normal mapping it and then layering our normal maps in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you will be able to do this in, uh, in GIMP, which is a free program. I'll be using um, Adobe Photoshop Elements. So, right, let's get started. Um, first thing I need to do is fix up my low poly a bit. I found that I have these a few vertexes right here that I that I, I really don't need and that are in the way and they will make my uh, my cap have more than four sides. So I'm just going to select all of them, go down to remove and hold down control and click remove. Okay, and I'm also going to get rid of these edges because they aren't needed and we're trying to keep this low poly and then border border cap and now you see that my polygon is needs to have a, a an edge right there so it's not more than four sides so I'm just going to create go to edge and go to create click from vertex to vertex to create edges and we'll do that quick all right okay and now we need to unwrap our normal map first I'm going to name this our normal map I mean my our um, UVWs so what I'm going to do is same thing as before. Unwrap UVW. Edit. Okay, it's looking pretty crazy. So just like before, I'm going to select mapping, flatten mapping. Okay. So um, a, a few tools I want to teach you guys. Um, say I wanted these three pieces to be all separate, so I can I can unwrap in a different way. I'm just going to click one tools break, and it's gone. It's a different piece now, and I can do that. Um, I can do that anywhere. And another really important one is if I click this little vertex right here, you'll see that over here one of these turns blue. That's because these two vertexes on the mesh are connected. And so if I were, if I wanted them to be connected on here too, what I can do is uh, I'll select this one. Oops. What's wrong with you? There we go. Um, Oops, wrong side. Okay, if I wanted these to be connected, I could just go click one and click my hotkey for stitch. All right, and um, the last, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video and unwrap this so you guys don't have to watch me unwrap a model. This is something that's gonna take practice though to get good at unwrapping. It just you just gotta make sure that you don't have any stretching. So let's apply that checkered map quick. Yeah, make sure these are all the same size and there isn't any stretching. But you can remember that the top part of our of our frame is the only part that we're actually going to be using any normal map on. So specifically make sure that the top is nice. The back really doesn't even have to look good at all. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and unwrap this quick. Okay, so um, I've unwrapped my, my mesh, but what I need to do for this layering to work perfectly is unhide my door. All right. And then I'm going to, well, I'm going to close out of my UVWs, collapse the UVW map to my frame, and then I will attach the door to the frame just by going to, um, to attach and clicking the door. Okay. And now I'm going to unwrap the UVWs for both of these, and now I'm going to make sure that, they're, uh, that they work together fine, they're not overlapping, because if they're overlapping, then uh, it'll, it'll definitely screw up on normal map quite a bit. Okay, so this should work just fine. All right, so there it is. Um, what I'm going to do is close out of this now. Collapse to, so it's permanently on both models. Then I'm going to go to Element, select my door, Detach, that's gone. Um, and then I will hide my door again. Uh, that, no. All right, where are you? There we go. All right, now that's hidden. Okay, and now I'm just going to align my frames once more. We know how to do this already. Okay, and with this selected, I'll go to zero, and I'll turn padding up to eight, and we'll go to pick our, I believe that's my high poly. Go down, add normal map, 
and my last one was 256 by 256 so I need to make sure it's the same size um, if you made yours any other size you gotta make sure that they're um, both maps are the same size that's really important alright and I'm just going to oh I gotta make sure my cage I'm gonna go back to see on my projection map my my cage would be or should be a little bit crazy but it's actually looking pretty good so I'm just gonna render hold it right and there you are okay and I'm gonna delete this select my high poly delete it select my low poly click M to your editor and I'm just going to apply the normal map just to check it out and then we'll do the layering so I'm gonna turn my bump all the way up none normal bump normal fit map alright so now that that's applied what we're going to do is go into Photoshop I'm using Adobe Photoshop elements and I'm just going to file open my frame normal alright there it is and uh, this really didn't turn out the way I was hoping so I'm just gonna show you guys how to layer <laughs> okay so I'm gonna select the whole thing edit copy now um, you should be seeing this in your, if you opened up your door normals so what I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer because background is not good and I'm gonna delete the background and I'm gonna make a new frame and I'm gonna edit paste alright and then we're just going to select where our door should be and delete tidbit more alright and then I'm just gonna merge down and voila another thing that we could have done is just select all that purple and yep merge down and we have a normal map so all I have to do is save sorry one sec we will we'll save this uh, door normals Okay, and then I will unhide my door. Uh, let's do this right. Unhide my door. All right, and what I'll do is reattach them so they're both one, and then M. And I'm just gonna open up my door normals, the bitmap. Where did we save those two? Let's check that out quick. Oh, we saved it as PSD. I'm sorry, we need to make sure this is TGA. And we uh, save. Okay. That's why. Alright, I'm going to close this out. Bitmap, bitmap. Bam. Click that. And we will apply it. And you'll see that they're now sharing the same texture space. So, this is all one model now, sharing the same texture space. You know, what we could even do is just for some fun, we could maybe just open a little bit. All right, and that is chapter two. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good time making your first next-gen model. Um, in chapter three, we'll be doing some polygonal modeling and doing a lot more complex normal map using some lighting techniques to make our normal maps turn out a lot, a lot nicer. Um, yeah, I'll see you then.